Mrs. Anderson, you are going to give me a great deal of money. You see, I have your daughter, Evie, with me. I want there to be no doubt in your mind about this, Mrs. Anderson. So I will let you speak to her. But I warn you, for her sake, don't hang up. Hello. Hello! What is it? I don't know. It's something about Evie. Are you there, Mrs. Anderson? Yes. Tell her. Mother, do what he says, please. Give him anything he wants. Anything. Please don't let him hurt me. Don't let him hurt me. Evie! Please. Mrs. Anderson, go to your home now. You will find a letter waiting for you. He tells you exactly what to do. But be very certain of one thing. If you inform the police, I will know about it. And as if he is the only one who can identify me, I will kill her. of it. It's going to be home for a day or two. Call in the police. No. Well, you've asked my advice, that's it. He was very clear about it. He said if I informed the police, he would know it. I will not take that chance. Well, I think you're making a mistake. Then I will accept the responsibility. OK, if that's the way you want it, we'll play it his way. Do you have the money? One million corona, used notes. There was no time to list all the serial numbers. And you say the letter was there when you got home, huh? Yeah, yeah. It simply said I was to come here, arrange to get the money, and then wait until he rang. Get this to Paul. Maybe he could make something out of it. All right. When we arrived, I found a suite had been reserved in my name. That's right. The reservation was made a week ago. Huh. Well planned. Eva. Yes? There is a house on the coast road to Elsinore, 10.5 kilometers from your hotel. Do you have the money? Yes. I expect you in exactly 30 minutes. Mr. Rule, please, do whatever he says. All right. I won't call the police, but you've got to give me room to move. All right. Just give me back my child. Alive.
Sorry, I thought it was someone else. It's a little joke. This is private property. What are you doing here? I think it's marvelous, darling. It'll need a little work, oh, of course. Excuse but me, don't... this is my wife, uh, Gwendolyn. We're thinking of buying. It has great potential, don't you think? Yeah, I think it's going to cost a lot to restore it, though. What's in that? Oh, just uh, papers, huh? Open it. This property is not for sale. It is to be demolished. I'll be back this way in half an hour. I don't want to find you here. If a man was watching, he's gone by now, so let's go. Do I get one guess? One. You really are a devious man, Harry Rule. Harry? If you screw it up again, that's it. Pavement, table, cafe, Scott, tomorrow morning at 10. Do you think he'll try to collect the money at this cafe tomorrow morning? No, I think he's going to keep changing places so fast we can't set a trap. Tomorrow, I expect he'll be running all over Copenhagen. I gotta get these glasses fixed. You've been saying that for months. Yeah. Why don't you get one of those big magnifying glasses? Make you look more like Sherlock Holmes. How's Paul handling his end? He's checking out all of the ports and marinas. The morning she was taken, Evie had been out sailing. She has her own boat. It's not back in its berth and hasn't been located yet. You think the kidnap was made at sea? Could be. Oh, looks like it's in trouble. She goes along the side to help. Maybe it happened like that. So there could be a second boat involved. Not that it helps us much. Nothing much helps yet. All we've got are a couple of notes and a voice on the telephone. Excuse me. I'm looking for this girl. Have you seen her anywhere? No, they got a good look. Yeah, well, what did he For you, sir. Yeah? I assume you're representing Mrs. Anderson. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. Well, just to make sure you're cooperating and not being followed, you will go wherever I tell you. There are no second chances. If I even get the feeling anything is wrong, the deal is off, and Evie would be dead. Right. Frederick's on canal in 15 minutes. And one more thing. You look like a man who might give me trouble, but uh, the woman with you. Oh, 
Well, what is it? He's close. You know how these things work? The kidnapper will run you ragged. You end up in a place that he's chosen. He takes your money and kills you. I've heard of it happening like that, but why bring it up now? Because he wants you to deliver the money. You. On your own. Hello. Hello. Who gave you this? Mr. Rule, tell me, is my daughter dead already? I don't know. I'm sorry. I think it's likely that he'll let her live a little longer, though. And when he's got the money? We gotta find him before that. Rule. Yeah, Paul. Harry, I've made contact. A local fisherman saw a red dragonfly class boat towed away yesterday morning by a motor cruiser. Yeah. No, he's certain. Absolutely. Paul says he located a fisherman and saw a red sailboat taken and towed by a motor cruiser yesterday morning. That could be Avis. All right, hang on. I'll be right down. Caroline? No, I haven't heard from her. All right. Use your radio. Tell them to call this number and give the message. the money.
Yeah. Paul. The airline says she's down here somewhere in the pipe works. Well, that must be it over there. We've done it! What do we do with her? He was in on it, too. Mister. Is there any money in this? You know something? I might, what it is worth. Tell me what you know, a girl is going to die. Then it must be worth plenty. Just tell me what you know, you can name your price. Look at his shoes. There is a boat in the harbor. Show me. She's gone. Can you give me a description of the boat or anything else? Do I still get my money? I think I know where that paint could have come from. I've seen it before. Where? I said where? With drums of it. All rusty, leaking all over the place. It's been abandoned for years. Where? Clements Island, the old fort. I go back to every month. All right. Let's get a boat. this door. I said open this door. Evie, I know you can hear me. Listen, I've come to take you home. Your mother, she's very concerned, you know. She's paid the money. Everything's all right. Evie, You've got to come out sometime, you know. Just open the door. Please. You've got to trust me, Evie. Just open the door, Evie. Stupid idiot! <laughs> 